Hi guys, I'm bringing you all along with me for a day in the life. I'm currently staying at home with my three kids and thanks to summer holidays, my ultimate goal in life is figuring out how to keep as clean and organized a home as possible with a minimal time and effort required as possible. So what is the best method and what is the best solution? Recently, I came across a new method that I have been trying out and it is a weekly cleaning schedule where you tackle one household cleaning task a day. For 30 minutes or 40, it depends on your house size, it depends how quick you do cleaning, so it depends, the timing just totally depends on you, but I always keep myself um, a time limit, so 20 minutes my today target was to spend in this room so i was doing deep clean making sure everything was wiped down uh, i've just replaced the flowers the fresh flowers was nearly dead i kept them alive for two weeks but now it was time to change them now i'm just gonna wipe down all the windows um, and the glass as well i always use the pink stove multiple uh, spray for dusting things off furniture blinds anything that sits on a surface that's going to collect dust clean and um, so i'm just clean cleaning it off i like to have as little out as i can so it's less stuff to have to clean that is a little bit gross but i just want to show you how bad my blinds were in the videos we can't really see the dust we can see the house is clean the house looks tidy but actually these kind of things like the dust you can't really see it and in reality when you clean it you can see all those mess so i'm just cleaning all the mirrors and the fireplace making sure it's nice and clean even today i removed the sofas and cleaned behind them as well these sofas are really heavy so sometimes i struggle to move them but today i was determined and i think i just went extra mile today but there was actually some crisp behind the sofa so i when i cleaned them i felt really better so i moved all the cushions as well i was doing a deep clean because today my target was doing a one household job today but i wanted to do it properly so i was doing it properly from downstairs top to bottom giving yourself a target and staying in the time limit it just help you to do task properly by following the schedule which is very manageable you can keep your entire house clean so i made my schedule today my target was to clean my house downstairs so today is friday so my target and my schedule is to only clean from downstairs so this way i don't spend all day cleaning and i also don't make myself tired as well because as a mom I have three beautiful children I want to spend time with them as well it's summer holidays I don't want to spend all day cleaning and and cooking so I made a routine and a schedule so it's just helped me to keep my house clean and I also have a peace of mind as well that I did something around my house as well and I'm spending time with the children as well. When it comes to my cleaning routine I keep it simple but still very productive because I know once the day gets started it's hard to get stuff done so I try to do any cleaning if I have to do in the morning so this morning my parcel delivered as well but first thing i want to do was to clean my room so i can open it properly so let's open this together and see what's inside um, between the sofas the wall was empty there was a space that i wanted to fill so i ordered this bench for living room I had the time limit to clean this room so when I open that parcel I pause my timer so I can because this was not including in my cleaning routine I thought I can fix it but it was quite time consuming so I put it on the side and I thought I will show you the box what it will look when it will be fixed so first I thought I will carry on cleaning and when if I will have a time I will fix that later on so now quickly I will vacuum the floor and then my favorite part to lit the candle and then after this 
this room is nice neat and clean still I put the timer for 20 minutes for this room but actually because the blinds were quite dusty so it took me around half an hour to clean this room now let's start cleaning here the first thing first as usual I'm starting with the wiping everything down so by wiping I'm cleaning the middle door because um, to make sure I, this is not my everyday routine job but I try to do once a week so making sure there's no dust on the door as well and then I'm gonna start tidying up around the table this room if you ever been to my channel before you know my kids use this side of the room most of the time we have a tv around here as well and sometimes we eat our snacks and food here as well so quickly i'm gonna uh, tidy up this room folding their blankets and anything that's on the floor or anything that doesn't belong in this room i'm gonna move it away and if anything that goes upstairs I'm gonna put on the stairs I'm not gonna waste my time and take it upstairs because if I know myself if I will go upstairs I'm gonna start tidying up upstairs so I'm just keeping it downstairs uh, on the stairs so when after finishing my cleaning I will go and take everything upstairs I was making sure I am cleaning under the sofas as well behind the sofas as well and I've just spotted a stain on the floor so I'm using Tesco stain remover I'm gonna leave that spray for five minutes while the spray is on I'm gonna clean the other side of my living room the TV and the side um, drawers after five minutes I quickly wiped that down and it's much better than before I've also noticed there were some stains on the sofa no I've cleaned them properly as well and this room is nice deep and clean the last thing that I needed to do is was a patio door I've just noticed the little handprints on them I will say both room because I did a deep cleaning it took me around one hour to clean whole this sitting room because I was I fast forward the video but it doesn't mean I did it that quick so as you all know when you do a proper deep clean is take longer than that time now I came to the hallway so I'm gonna do the same thing making sure uh, wiping everything down all the doors and then I will clean the floor as well it doesn't take me that long here because there's not much to do while I was here I decided to clean my stairs as well so everything that is downstairs living room stairs hallway so today my list was to make sure that everything is nice deep and clean once I clean the living room and the hallway I came into the kitchen my kitchen is never too dirty because I try to put away everything as I use like if I am doing some cooking I make sure I put everything back this is just a simple habit but it makes your life so easy so I have a habit before I go to bed I put all the dishes in the dishwasher so in the morning when I wake up usually they are nice they are uh, all washed so we can use them all day and now I'm putting everything back so anything that needs refilling I need I'm just doing the refilling I just refill the um, cereal dispensers I'm putting the sugar in the in the jars I am filling because today I am making some cookies so I was making sure this the, the sugar jars are filled and also the um, flour jars they are filled as well while I was in the kitchen so I decided to do a deep clean here as well making sure the windows are clean the side um, of the kitchen and the drawers they are nice and clean I have also shared my how I organize my this small kitchen before in the videos if you haven't watched that you can go and check that one out I don't really have a huge kitchen and I think this is why it's so easy to maintain this kitchen nice and clean all the time this is the rug that I have ordered if you haven't watched my last video you can check that as well where did I get this from it's quite comfy and it looks really cute in the kitchen as well now I'm gonna lit my candle that's mean it's time to cook or bake something nice in the kitchen so let's get started if you love cookies here is a recipe for the best brown butter chocolate chip cookies of all the time 
put all the ingredients on the side so it just makes my cooking so much easy and is more organized. I have started by putting quarter cup of butter on low heat on the stove. First it will start to bubble up like this and eventually it will turn this beautiful brown um, color. Take it off on the heat and then mix everything together. So I've got a little helper here as well. So first I have put the I put the melted butter, then I put one cup of light brown sugar and then I put quarter cup of white sugar, mix that until just combined. Then I added one large egg yolk, one whole egg and then one tablespoon of vanilla extract. Then add in one quarter cups of purpose flour, then quarter teaspoon of baking soda and one teaspoon of salt mix this until just combined then add in two cups of semi-sweet chocolate chips and it will look like just like this it smells so nice and it looks lovely as well if you never ever tried baking try this recipe you will love it i'm just uh, preparing the tray for baking roll these cookies balls roll them between your hands and make little balls and put them on the baking tray i love about baking that little humans if you have in your house they can come and help you as well so there's something that these kind of cooking that we can do together so my middle child she loves to cook she does baking classes as well so i let her do it as much as she wants but something that is something about me that I don't really force my children to do anything around the house if they have interest they can do it and if they really want to do something when I was young in my mom's house I never remember doing cooking or cleaning but one thing I remember I grew up in the clean house and my mom she used to have a set routine I believe as long as you have a clean environment and your children they are growing in a healthy and clean environment they will adopt these um, skills and these habits as well i believe children they learn more when they see things rather than just telling them all the time do this and that while i'm talking i need to let you know what's happening in the video as well so i have to leave the cookie dough in the fridge for 30 minutes while i had a 30 minute i decided to make this healthy juice if you know me you know how much i love these juices so while i'm home i am taking full advantage of that making these healthy juices at least twice a week or more than that while i work i don't really have a time to do this in the morning so now I made this juice I'm making sure my children they try as well but to be honest they, they're not really big fan of these fresh juices but I love them keeping cookie dough in the fridge for 30 minutes it really helps them to deeper in flavor and lead them to a better texture so the cookie doughs are ready and they are ready to bake so I put them in I bake these cookies at 350 for 12 to 13 minutes and now they are ready so I will wait for them to cool it down let me show you a little bit closer how good they look my kitchen smells beyond and if you never ever baked I promise you try this recipe you will never be disappointed so the cookies are cooled down I'm putting them in the cookie jar I hope you get a little bit motivation from today's video and I, I hope you will try this recipe as well. Thank you so much for spending your time on my channel. I've also went for a little run today this morning and it was amazing. I felt so much better after that. Once again, thank you so much guys and wherever you are, stay happy and look after yourself.